social entrepreneur with big ideas? But have you been feeling that something is limiting your success? Perhaps there is something you could learn from indigenous Andean culture. Life should be lived in sacred reciprocity. Reciprocity just means that there's a balance between giving and receiving. This worldview is summed up in the term Aini, which just means sacred reciprocity. It's the practice of living life so that all your relationships are in a perfect balance. Let's take the balance between giving and receiving as a great example for the social entrepreneur to focus on for bringing into Aini or into greater balance. This means that in every relationship, before you can receive, you must first give. And then, in general, you must continue to tend to this balance. Aini is very different, though, than what most of us are familiar with when we think about giving and receiving. In the industrialized world, we are used to the process of giving and receiving through commerce. Commerce is essentially an exchange of money for goods or services. In our culture, there's a common belief that with the right amount of money, commerce could provide the means to address any problem. This is a limiting worldview, though, because commerce either overlooks or is ineffective at solving many types of problems that don't provide an incentive for profit, and is often, in fact, at cross-purposes with issues addressing the social welfare. Since these are typically the very problems that a social entrepreneur wants to address, it can be an unconscious habit to assume the model of commerce to address them. The problem with this assumption is that if you feel like you don't have or receive enough money, it's easy to get stuck in the cycle of pouring all your energy into finding more money, or in feeling so discouraged you feel powerless to address the problem, both of which undermine your ability to be an effective social entrepreneur. If you find yourself in this dilemma, perhaps you can look at places in your life and work that are out of balance. Again, let's use the example of giving and receiving to illustrate. Many people typically ask to receive a lot without a corresponding relationship of giving, like wanting to receive more money, a better job, more love, more time, or even better weather. Moving out of that physical model of commerce and into the more holistic model of living in balanced Aini will give you a powerful tool to becoming a more effective social entrepreneur. First, start every encounter with what you can give to that relationship. This is a powerful initiatory process that will activate the power of Aini and jumpstart your effectiveness. Before each encounter, Ask what you can give that you already have access to. Things like your money, your time, your skills, your presence. Continually ask yourself what you can give to support others in your work and in your life. When you're giving in a balanced way with all of your relationships, each of them are nourished by giving care to your body, mind, and spirit, by giving time and emotional support to your family, by serving your community, and by addressing even larger needs of our world. Attending to all your relationships with this understanding of Aini will lead to you being better supported. Because each encounter was led by your giving, people around you will naturally be more inclined to feel invested in you or your cause. Because of these strengthened relationships, they are more likely to help and support you. So let's look at one simple practice you can do to activate the powerful organizing principle of Aini. For example, when buying something, really see the person you're interacting with. After all, if we can't even see each other clearly, how can we effectively address problems in the wider world around us? Then, attend to all the non-physical things you can give to them. Think, 
I am thankful for your help. I appreciate your time. I am grateful that I have the money to purchase this. I am so happy you have exactly what I needed. When interacting with a person in this way, they will feel the focus and the power of your presence. When you start to do these practices, you naturally deepen your awareness of your interconnectedness in the web of life. What's important to you is important to me. My actions affect you, and your actions affect me. These simple practices are rooted in the deeper practice of ritual in indigenous shamanic traditions. Ritual is the physical action you take to give focus to your thoughts and intentions. So ritual essentially provides a structure that represents the energies of your giving, therefore activating the potential for receiving that naturally follows in a balanced state. Rituals to nurture Aini follow a holistic path and help assure balance between humans, nature, and the unseen world. Now, imagine if you attended to Aini in these ways, in every action, every day, you'd follow a path toward more balance into every relationship in your life and in your work. Living in sacred reciprocity with all your relationships can really activate both your ability to powerfully affect change as well as being supported in return while doing so. This can be a fundamental shift toward a more balanced life and toward more effective social entrepreneurship. Try it for a day, for a week, for a month, and see the shifts that will occur in yourself and in others' responses to you. May my actions, may they contribute to the flow of